Have you ever dreamed of living like Kylie Jenner? Well, the stunning townhome in New York City that Kylie and her boo Travis Scott formerly rented out is now on the market for over 26 million. The couple once lived at this 22 foot wide, nearly 9,000 square foot crib, which is perfect for cozy fall nights, boasting a modern fireplace, soaring ceilings, and other amazing features. Let's not forget that Kylie and Travis also co-own a $13.5 million home above Beverly Hills, and Kylie maintains a collection of homes across LA, including her main residence in Holmby Hills, while Travis is based in Brentwood with his two lavish properties. Today, we're gonna check out where the trendy couple calls home. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Kylie Jenner is a media personality, model, businesswoman, and more who rose to fame on the reality series Keeping Up With The Kardashians alongside her family. Not to mention, she's the founder of cosmetic company Kylie Cosmetics and has expanded her brand since. Despite selling the majority of Kylie Cosmetics, she's still behind product development and marketing, and her net worth is now estimated around $700 million. Her partner Travis Scott is a rapper and he's amassed an estimated $50 million himself. With baby number two on the way, Kylie and Travis have a handful of homes they can choose to settle down in. Hey guys, it's Care the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here in Famous Entertainment. This one looking at where Kylie and Travis Scott call home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me over on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. First, let's check out where Kylie and Travis used to stay when they were on the East Coast. Located in the upscale neighborhood of Greenwich Village in New York City, this exclusive townhome has been around for nearly 200 years, being built in 1839. Kylie and Travis were only two of the well-known and well-to-do residents who liked to lease out this home while they were in town, and now it's up for sale at $26.5 million. Million dollar listing star Ryan Serhant is the one who's selling this home, which shouldn't be surprising given its high status, and the impressive six-story structure also includes a decked out rooftop. The townhouse showcases a ton of character from the exposed brick walls to the floor to ceiling windows and much more. At 22 feet wide and 8,700 square feet of space, it's a sprawling residence, fit for celebrity standards, so it's no wonder that Kylie and Travis loved staying here when they were in town. The home had been gutted and renovated by developer and owner William Rainero, while Clora Design were in charge of most of the interiors. Either way, the mansion-sized townhouse combines charm with a modern feel, and it's the best of both worlds. There are six bedrooms and eight bathrooms throughout, as well as plenty of common spaces like the massive living room with double height ceilings, full wall of glass, and contemporary yet cozy fireplace. Sliding doors here also lead out to one of the terraces. Most of the spaces in the home have these 18 foot high ceilings, but the exposed original stone and brick adds warmth. There are fancy glass staircases throughout that connect the multiple floors, and while most of the bedrooms are spacious, the master suite is the nicest of them all. Not only does the owner's suite take up the entire fourth floor, here, there's another built-in fireplace with flat screen TV and a spacious attached bath with separate tub, double vanities, and shower. Elsewhere, there's a huge dressing room as well. If you're too lazy to take the stairs, there's also a glass elevator option and other goodies in the townhouse include a mezzanine lounge as well as a basement with second kitchen and media room. In terms of outdoor spaces, there's a 700 square foot rear garden full of lush landscaping and an outdoor kitchen designed by Silvano Marchetto. Another terrace boasts a hot tub with a nearby wellness room, including a glass wall sauna. The luxury townhome is close to Washington Square Park, which you can see from the rooftop deck, along with views of the Freedom Tower. Back in 2018, Kylie and Travis also split the bill for a property in Beverly Hills, which they continue to co-own together. This modern abode costs the couple $13.5 million, and it's located within the Beverly Hills post office neighborhood of LA, 
an area that values seclusion and upscale living. Listing materials claim this 1.1 acre property is one of the most private compounds you could find and only minutes from the prestigious Beverly Hills Hotel. The gated residence is contemporary yet warm and offers a separate guest house on the grounds with its own kitchen, living room, bedroom and bathroom. Inside the main mansion, the home spans over 9,600 square feet of space with 7 bedrooms, 10 baths and a handful of perfectly decorated living spaces. Built back in the 1970s, this property was once upon a time owned by actress Louise Curry but received a huge renovation quite recently, making the house fit for modern times. It also gave the Beverly Hills spread more of a contemporary aesthetic. The boxy exterior opens into a double height foyer which then leads to the open plan living spaces. The living room, dining room, family room and kitchen all open via glass walls to outdoor spaces for the ideal indoor-outdoor flow. The living room is cozy and chic with European oak floors and a fireplace while the chef's kitchen offers top-of-the-line appliances, oversized center island and attached breakfast nook. Not to mention there's a bonus outdoor breakfast area as well. The luxury master suite is definitely a selling point, spending about 2,300 square feet alone with both city and ocean views. There are his and hers baths for Travis and Kylie as well as oversized dressing rooms for each. Other features on this level of the mansion include a separate gym and massage room, sitting room and a private office where the beauty mogul can sign some Kylie cosmetic deals. As you might expect, that breathtaking master suite also opens up to a large private balcony. Other features in Travis and Kai's Beverly Hills home include a movie theater, wine room, library and an extra den. So basically this house has it all. While interiors are impressive, some might say the backyard is the feature of this mansion. The large sleek pool and spa seem to cover most of the yard space, while the surrounding patio makes for a great area to lounge or entertain. The landscaping is also second to none at this crib, not only offering beautiful gardens, but thick walls of trees and greenery make for a ton of extra privacy. As the listing described it, Kylie and Travis's shared home is a warm and timeless compound with unmatched privacy. While it may seem like just an investment property or backup crib for the young couple, in the past, Kylie has opened up about her and Travis's living situation, saying, I'm actually scrolling through Instagram right now and it says that me and Travis don't live together. And so I just wanna say that we never miss a night with each other. We go back and forth from my Calabasas house and the city home that we actually got together. This was a while back, so now I would assume that Kylie and Travis can split their time between her main Holmby Hills mansion, his super modern home in Brentwood, or this place. Of course, Kylie spends most of her time at her $36.5 million compound in Holmby Hills. We know the girl loves her real estate, but this resort style spot is the largest property in Kylie's portfolio thus far, spanning over 15,300 square feet of space, along with four separate guest houses, and a 24-hour guardhouse with full bath and kitchen. The main mansion here boasts seven beds and 14 baths over a single level with an open plan layout, soaring ceilings, and massive walls of retractable glass to connect the indoors and outdoors. The amenities at Kylie's Pad are endless with multiple bars and games rooms, as well as a massive indoor home theater and an outdoor projection screen. The main courtyard and infinity pool are located at the center of the property and most of the common rooms open right up to the space as well. Elsewhere, there's a gym, a spa, modern fire pit, basketball court, and multiple terraces. Over in the Brentwood neighborhood of LA, Travis has his own oasis, yet another option for the young family to spend their days at. Just last year, the rapper dropped over $23 million on this unique home that looks like a yacht and is wrapped in smooth sheet metal. The mansion is huge, clocking in 16,700 square feet of ultra-modern house with 7 beds and 11 baths with a generous outdoor area spanning an acre. Some of the many features at Travis's home include a lounge deck, a 75 foot long glass tiled infinity pool, Japanese zen garden and 300 tree fruit orchard. Inside the home is full of open spaces with high ceilings and luxury add-ons like a live green wall that acts as a natural air purifier and a single great room with full bar, fireplace and multiple seating and dining areas. This mega estate is at the end of a remote street, below street level, and the driveway actually slopes down the mansion's roof, while the roof has parking spaces for 15 cars on its own. 
definitely a one-of-a-kind type of design. Some other amenities at Travis's house include a home theater, three custom designed bars, a glass elevator, and an impressive master retreat with dedicated lounge areas. After checking out the homes of Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott, I think that brings this house tour to an end. This young couple owns more properties than this, but I already wonder how they choose which one to stay at. If none of the homes are sitting empty, that's quite a bit of hopping around to do. Out of the three homes they still own, their shared modern house in Beverly Hills Post Office, Kylie's Homeby Hills crib, and Travis's modern pad, where would you live? I think I would choose the Beverly Hills house or Kylie's estate. Be sure to let me know your pick down in the comments as well as what you liked or didn't like about the couple's properties. Thanks for tuning in, follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!